Hey guys, I wanted to film a quick flip through slash setup of my pocket Filofax. This is um, the original patent in the pocket size. And if you kind of look at it, it's a uh, patent leather. So kind of like a shinier, slicker leather in the rose color. So um, yeah, let's get started. It is very chunky. So it just barely closes. If I put the pen in, it actually doesn't close because I have so much stuff in it. And normally I just kind of leave it propped open like this. So I, yeah, I, I don't like it to get like bent or this is not something that I carry with me right now because um, it is a really full and my purse is really small. I think once I switch to like my bigger bag, then it'll be better. But okay, so first off, um, let me see if this is a good angle for you guys. It looks a little like I can get in a little closer. Let me just adjust this. Okay, so um, this first little pocket here, it's just like a, a little elastic. So for so it looks like they like just sewed down the pen loop. And I basically just took this these post-its from Japan that my I think my sister bought this for me when she went to Japan. I cut it down and, and then it just sits nicely in that little elastic part. Um, I use post-its sometimes, so I like to have them in here. Um, this little paper clip dangle is from Love Neen. This is a little Totoro. And this charm here, this planner charm is from um, Happy Dea. And I just put this little ball chain onto the the ring so that it could dangle down. Um, this one here is a dangle, like a best friend dangle that my BFF gave me. Um, she has the other side, it's purple, and this one is from Exo Carolyn Designs. So it was originally for like a B6, so what I did was I just tied it, um, like made a little bow and then I tied it to the first string so that it would dangle off at the bottom with the Happy Day of charm so those are my charms this dashboard is from my newest addiction um at the time she had it she was you know letting us customize our name so um i like this one and this one i've been moving from planner to planner or like my pocket planner to my next pocket planner um it's like a harder plastic dashboard um I was putting post-its here if I forgot who it was from, but um, I like that it's like this thicker plastic. Um, this dashboard here is from Catspresso Co. And it has a clear front pocket so that you can stick things in. And then it has a secretarial pocket in the back here so that you can stick things in as well. So, um, Catspresso Co. for me personally has the best jelly dashboards or jelly covers or anything jelly really. Um, but yeah, so I have another pocket in here that's another Catspresso Co. dashboard. And sometimes it comes in different colors like a pink or whatnot. So this one is the clear star jelly. And this die cut is a coffee cup die cut from Stickers in Me, which is my best friend's shop. And this also Baby Yoda is from her shop as well. This die cut is one from my shop, and this was a freebie from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. This right here is a like a pocket, so it has like a little folder pocket here, and it's from Shop Michael Nicole. I had to write this one down because this one, actually the shop is not in business anymore. So um, this is a gold, a gold folder um that I got from her shop and I got this along with these dashboards so all of the dashboards like I mean not dashboards the um dividers in here are from her shop so um this one is from that person's shop shop Michael Nicole um this little die cut is from my best friend shop as well so the same as the coffee cup die cut um stickers in me and 
This little bowl clip here is also from, it's a paper clip, but this little bowl clip is also from Shop Michael Nicole. So again, their, their shop is closed now, or her shop is closed now. So um, that's that. And the divider obviously from her shop too. This little thing is a sticky notepad as well. So I just took a few and I stuck it in here because the dashboards when I bought them, like they didn't have an option for to have like a back side too. I don't like that they're white on the back, but it's okay because I I think that the front side is cute. So I just put something on the back to kind of like make it so it's not really there's no white space. This pocket is a Filofax pocket, a clear Filofax pocket that um, I ordered off of Amazon a long time ago. So this one I also just switched from planner to planner. I've had that this one for a long time. So this is a freebie from uh, my newest addiction when I bought the dashboard. And so this can hold credit cards, but I put like little stickies and like other things. Um, this paper clip, uh, it's a Musubi paper clip, a Sven Musubi paper clip. Um, this one also is from my best friend's shop, so stickers and me. And these post-its are from Japan. My sister, when she went, she brought me back a bunch of stuff like pens and stickers and all kinds of washi tape and stuff like that. So um, I try to use them when I can. And this one, okay, so um, again, the, the dividers are from Shop Michael Nicole, so... Uh, this was a freebie from, I think it was Once More With Love, and she has a bunch because right now it's, we're going through like the coronavirus and, um, quarantine and everything like that, so, um, she has a bunch like day 30, or day 1, day 30, day 100, um, just kind of like cute, funny saying, so I stuck that in there. Um, I printed this freebie off of the Facebook group. Uh, this is a acetate from I went to planner con in 2019 with and Amy Tangerine was there and she had a workshop and this um, acetate was in the bundle of stuff that she gave for her workshop so I cut it down and I stuck it into I stuck it in here so yeah this is the fold out yearly filofax insert and I actually really like this so this is for 2020 and then sometimes they also have the 2021 so I like to you like I didn't think I would have a use for this when I originally bought it because I was gonna keep track of like my birthdays and stuff but actually what this is what I have been using it for what it's been great for is keeping track of my paid time off so like the time that I take off from work so this was last year's one and you can see like what I did was I just colored in the days that I had time off and how many hours I took because the way my work works, I can take off like, you know, a couple of hours or five hours or, you know, like my whole work day at that point was 10 hours. So I was working 10, four days a week for 10 hours. So that was my 40 hour work week. Um, but anyways, I would mark down like what day that I took off and how many hours I took off and I could see it for the whole year. So it was really great to be able to, you know, keep track of it during the year and a good way for me to keep track of how many hours I use. So um, at this point right now, I don't have anything to put in here, but that's what I use the sensors for. So I have the 2021 version and then the 20, the 2020 version and the 2021 version. And this one is just another, so the last one was a 30 day. This is the 100 day um, freebie printout that she had on the What More With Love Facebook. Um, this is a holographic, this was like a freebie from Cat's Bristol Co. when I ordered the jelly dashboards because, um, she gives like little freebie things, like sometimes it's stickers, but this was like a, a holographic dashboard and so it has her like info shop information on the back of it, um, but I just covered it up with the post-it notes because the shop information, you can kind of tell it's like black text and I didn't want the black text in there, so... Um, but it is really cute. I actually really like this. So I just punched punched it out and then I put it in as like a, a little dashboard slash sticky note keeper. And then this paper clip is from, I think it's Impala Girl Trends. So this one and then the 
one back here the little coffee cup i think it's from impala girl trends i gotta look it up but i'll link it below if anything so um i have that here and then this is a clear like this is the clear acetate that comes with the filofaxes and i printed out so like for like my first general section of like inserts i always put in like a my schedule so like this is like the monthly schedule that i have and this is actually a Jessenia Prince monthly printable. Um, I like dated because I tend to mess up the ones that are undated, but you can get like undated versions as well. And for me, I like to color code my stuff that I'm doing. So, like, you know, pink is usually my more personal or like happier events, gray is just like the regular mundane type of things that I have to do out the throughout the day, blue is usually work. Um, or things related to work as well as um, like stuff that I do extra for like my business and then yellow is usually if it's related to my appointments for like the doctors or the dentist or anything health related um, I put like when I go walking or if I do any exercise then I mark it with yellow because that has to do with my health and then I also use purple for birthdays and um orange for like if people are flying in and out because i live in hawaii and any of the family that lives outside of the state has to fly in to come visit so or if anybody is taking a trip or something like away then i mark it down and put it in here um so that's the jessenia prints monthly printable and it goes for the whole month i mean the whole year so yeah um, these stickies are Avery tab stickies and I really like them because there's a set that they have called like the Lux. I think it's the Lux set and they all have like this shiny, I mean it has like three different shiny types of sticky dividers. So I put this one here because this is probably one of the most used sections in my notebook, um, in my Filofax. So um, this sticky is from, this is a sticky post-it, like sticky post-it pad from Simply Gilded that I had bought and, um, I get her monthly sub box and she has lots of cute things, but these were things that were in either in previous ones or they were just, you know, things that you could buy from her shop. So, um, the sticky notepad is from Simply Gilded. This acetate, it's like a flower acetate, but the acetate is from Cat's Bristle Co. And this little bowl clip right here is from Simply Gilded as well. It came as a set with, there's a dangle charm too, like with a lobster claw clip, but I don't have anywhere to put it right now. So, um, but I like pink and this is like a light pink velvety colored bowl. So that's this portion and this is probably like my favorite section because I really like this dashboard um I really like this um uh, yeah this jelly pocket dashboard and this acetate from Kets Bristol Co and this the whole look here it's just cute so this one is a holographic jelly cover uh, jelly dashboard slash pocket so this one doesn't have a secretary pocket on the back like the first one that I have here but it is in the holographic so it has a pocket here and I just have a polaroid picture in here of my sisters and i um so yeah this but this one is the holographic jelly cover jelly um po yeah jelly pocket and this is a i think that, yeah this is a filofax pocket and this was a freebie on grumpy bear right here um this is basically the whole mood right now with the masks and the toilet paper with covid19 or coronavirus going around so um I cut it, I printed and cut it and put it in here because I thought it was so cute. And I printed out a few smaller ones to stick in like my planning sections. Um, this was a freebie from Samantha May Sticks in the back here, but it was so cute. It looks just like the same color as Grumpy Bear, but I thought it was cute because I ordered some stuff from Samantha May Sticks and she gives freebies with her, with her orders. This here was a planner. I think it was a, a like an exclusive for from Once More with Love for like a 
planner group or whatnot or some kind of planner sale or something i think i forget my best friend gave this to me she bought a couple and there, um i don't know if it came with it or if she bought it specifically like as a part of her purchase but yeah that's a sticker kit and then this printable so this is like this section is my weekly section and honestly i wasn't sure like i like which insert i wanted to use so i have a couple different ones in here that i've been trying out so this first one here is a annie plans printable but it's a once more with no a the coffee monsters co collab so annie plans printable with collaboration with the coffee monster co and then this little sticker here or like this little cutout here that i put in the middle is a um once more with love sticker that i just stuck here because this is basically the gist of this week again like the grumpy bear sticker um everybody's kind of like going crazy about the toilet pla toilet paper and stuff like that so um this was a uh, two weeks ago or a week ago but so this insert the annie plants printable one has at like a a monthly first and then like a monthly view first and then to go with the week it has like the in the weekly inserts so um like the weekly inserts for the rest of the month so personally for me this was repetitive because i already keep the separate monthly so i was having i mean i guess I, i'm just ocd i don't have to fill out the second like this weekly month view for the weekly insert that it comes with but i do so this is totally repetitive for me um maybe if you want to keep your month like along with your weeks as just your one part of your schedule but for me i like to have my monthly view um monthly is my favorite view so i like to have the monthly section for sure um weekly is kind of like my second my second i guess you could say like way that i plan i don't usually plan weekly too much but i've been trying to because i have some other things that i need to keep track of um that i need more space for so um this is repetitive for me as part of the weekly spread for this particular annie plans printable um but it is cute because i do like that it is already pre-decorated with like the coffee monster co characters up here so this is just this is already printed on the insert so the first part of this insert has this week which i didn't really have anything to write here so i just put the grumpy bear freebie here um the thing that i did like about this insert is that this box is the general like one and a half inch boxes like that you know like the Erin Condren boxes or like the Happy Planner um has so it fits like the Happy Planner stick Happy Planner stickers perfectly or like if you have like a kit you wanted to use it would fit the it would fit that perfectly normally in the pocket size you don't really get the 1.5 box that's why so it doesn't really fit these stickers unless you either cut them down or you scale them down so I do like that this insert has the 1.5 box here so I don't have a blank one but you can kind of tell like oh here this one's practically blank but this is what it kind of looks like when it's empty or when there's nothing on it so this is the 1.5 inch box and then like a small little um section here for like notes or like down here for notes as well so I was able to like get some writing in you know like make any list that I needed to write and then also like have this section for you know whatever I wanted to do for decoration so I really like that about this insert and so you can see this is how it went through the week for my week I got kind of less and less decorative um with my stuff but oh and this was uh, also a grumpy bear freebie that grumpy bear sticker co came out with at the same time they came out with the grumpy the grumpy she calls this over prepared grumpy um but that came out the same time as that she put this one out so i printed it and i put it on sticker paper and i stuck it in my planner um because animal crossing came out and this is an animal crossing type of sticker like reference so i thought it was so cute though and obviously like i said less and less um decorative and because i don't really use too many stickers um the kits and you know decorating that way gets really expensive for me so i um i have a happy planner sticker booklet that i was using with all these types of stickers in it um 
Plus this, our schedules are getting less and less busy because we have to stay home now. So, um, you know, like I cook or we, we cook and we eat and we, you know, go out for a walk and it's not very busy, um, for us. So that weekly, um, that weekly insert by Annie Plans, I actually enjoyed. So it was pretty good. Um, but I felt like I also couldn't see my week really. And I like my whole week, I have to flip to see my week and, I don't know how I felt about that or I felt pressured to use this weekly I mean like to use the de like decorate this weekly um I don't like to feel pressured about it because otherwise it looks like this so um pros and cons pros and cons about this um so what I did was I also tried this weekly this is a I love this this is so pretty I don't know if you can see it but it's like rainbow clouds um, but this weekly was a Jessenia Prince weekly printable and it's really cute. Um, it showed your week on this side, had a little space here. So this one is not a 1.5 box. So as cute as this one was, I was a little bummed that this section here wasn't 1.5, but um, so this one you would have to cut your stickers down and make them smaller or whatever um, in order to fit them here instead of have them like the regular 1.5 boxes like this. Um, but I, I mean like you know you could use it for like lists or whatever that's kind of what I did. I used some of my smaller stickers here. Um, so this week I was keeping alongside of this same week here just to kind of see like what the differences would be. So. For this one, I just felt like there wasn't enough space here to get in what I wanted. So this is the same information, but in this small little area. I also felt like this lists part for me, it was just a little weird because I just, I don't tend to have like a, like my weekly stuff here separate from like my lists, like, or like, I just, I don't know. I felt like I didn't really have anything to put here that flowed well so i feel like this one for me like as i really wanted to like it because it was so cute and i love the colors but it just wasn't it didn't flow well for me and it didn't i feel like it didn't have enough space here so um i didn't opt to use it but this is what it looks like blank i didn't opt to use it again after that and then what i did was there was another weekly printable that i saw on uh brooklyn grace coast so um, this was another printable and I actually really like this one. So I think I'm going to keep using this one. Um, I like, I don't know, for some reason these lists flow better for me and then I can see my weekly and, but I still have more space than the Jessenia prints, um, the Jessenia print spaces. So I can fit like a little bit of text, a little bit of stickers and, what I'm doing if I need to write more, like I keep a separate notebook for like my memory keeping. So I don't have to like write down like my memories the way that I was trying to keep in here or my thoughts. Like I just write down like what I did for the day so I can kind of remember. So the weekly, I just kind of use it as like a guide to like what I did this week or what I did the day this day. Cause sometimes I forget what I did during the day. So I just start to like write it down so I know what I did for my memory keeping later because I keep a memory keeper and sometimes I have to like play catch up on it. So this is what it looks like blank, but this one is from Brooklyn Grace Coast um, or Brooklyn Grace. Um, I think it's on Etsy, but I really like this one and it's printable. So that's that section. This is another sticky note set, um, the cupcake and this one. So. I don't think I said the cupcake one, but the cupcake one, wherever it was, this one, and this little um, cake one was on the same, uh, in a same, the same pack, and this one was from Japan too. Um, this acetate was from Catspresso Co., and it's basically a coffee um, acetate. So it says, but first coffee in different colors, so like pink and blue and purple. And I put that little coffee cup from, I, I want to say it's from, I keep thinking it's from Impala Girl Trends. I think it is from Impala Girl Trends um, up there too, because this is the coffee section. So this one, I kind of like, this is this, this section was my finance section. So like I have a finance insert here, but um, 
I thought, you know, I sit and have my coffee and I do my finances. So um, I wanted this coffee like insert to show up because it wasn't really showing up with my finance stuff here. But um, I wanted it to show up. So I put this, I just punched this little card that my best friend gave to me as the background. So um, the way that, and this is a, this is a clear acetate over it because I highlight everything and then I write it in. I didn't want it getting anything dirty that's on this side. So um, anyways, this is a clear acetate that comes with the Filofaxes. Um, so this spend tracker is from Peanuts Planner Co., I think. And um, the way I, I keep this, like I've been tracking my spending, so every single thing I buy, um, whether it's cash or credit or whatever, um, I keep track of it in here. And basically I use a color-coded system and the color-coded system is like a stoplight, like literally like a stoplight for me. So yellow is like kind of like caution, maybe you shouldn't have spent on this. Green is like absolutely necessary, like food. So this is food. This is my um, like triple A, ins not insurance, but like my, you know, triple A, like they help with your car or whatever, like if you need it. Um, membership, my triple A membership. Um, this was from Apple and this is totally something I didn't need but I bought it anyways um and then like basically that's how I color coded it so basically green is good yellow is like eh, and then red is like I really shouldn't have bought this but I did um like this this was an accident I accidentally I thought I had like Apple store credit and I didn't and it charged my Apple pay and I didn't know it was they didn't confirm or tell me it was going to do it but it did so that was something I totally didn't need and it was like an app purchase on accident um so stuff that I didn't need I kind of eventually want to make sure that these red um purchases don't happen as frequently and the yellow ones I need to kind of like weed out because I really didn't need most of it's like planner stuff gets bread so go um you know uh, Willow Walla Co, um, Brooklyn Grace Co, and you know, just things that I, I really didn't need. So, um, I've been tracking that. Um, I also use the spend tracker to track, like, if so, I lent some money out to a family member and, um, they like are paying me back, like, slowly, or you know, like, charges are still like posting, um, for like basically, it's like a I'm tracking how much they owe me and how much they're paying me or how much, you know, they borrowed and how much they're paying back. Um, it's not really meant for this, but I like to keep it in with my this section because it's still my finance section. Um, and then I have just a bunch of blank inserts for this. And then in the back here, I just keep like Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps because I feel like, you know, I'm not like one of those like Dave Ramsey religious like... I mean, it's not religion, but, like, people treat it like a Dave Ramsey religion because he's very, like, knowledgeable about, like, you know, like, wealth. And he's, like, a millionaire and whatever, has a podcast and whatnot. Um, but, you know, he has good steps for saving, so I like to keep that back here. Just as kind of, like, a motivation or, like, a memory, like, or, or, or like, to remember, you know, like, a thought, thoughts to remember. Um, oh, okay, so this is a sticky note pack from Samantha May Sticks. Um, Samantha May is based out of Hawaii so I like to support her because she has well not only does she have really cute stuff like stickers and stuff and post notes and washi but she's a local business and right now I, I mean especially right now in the times of like you know coronaviruses coronavirus and stuff we're trying to support more local businesses or you know we're encouraged to support local businesses so that they don't you know go under or whatever but um I like to buy from local sellers anyways, but this is from Samantha May Sticks and she is one of the, one of my local, local sellers that I like to buy from. Um, uh, this is another, the same acetate from Kets Espresso Co. that I just cut another section for. And, um, this paper clip is from Lizzie Plant and I bought this in, she, it comes in a white paw, a pink paw, and a black paw. So I bought all three of them because my cat that passed away is like a white cat and then my cat now is like a darker like grayish blackish type of cat and then I love pink so I have all three colors and this section is just for like notes so I have um 
it keeps flipping this way because it's so full. Um, but I have just a little bit of note paper back here that I use to take, you know, like if I need to write anything down. Um, and then this little die cut was from Lizzie Plan, so the same person that made the little cat paw paper clip. Um, she gave a bunch of freebies, which was really cute. Um, one of them was this little die cut, too spooky to live, too cute to die. So um, this is a, oh, that's my, you, if you can hear it, that's my neighbor talking to his son. But um, this little card was actually like a gift tag, like a, it came from Michael's, I think, but it was like a gift tag and I just cut off the part that was like, a different size and then I peeled it off the front and then I peeled off another one so this is another gift tag in the same set and I glued them together and then just punched it as like a little kind of like a marker so that is just I just stuck it in here and then this is the same acetate from Amy Tangerine that I had in the front and then I have a sticker this is a um, sticker from stickers and me so my best friend's shop and this insert is Filofax's monthly insert. And I um, keep this in here because I actually was gonna, I saw somebody else that had a setup that was using the monthly to track like their steps and their exercise or whatever workouts they did. So I put this in the back here cause I wanted to track that soon um, or start tracking that. Um, cause my Apple watch like tracks steps and stuff. So. Um, I don't have anything filled out for this, but this is the Filofax monthly insert. And then this die cut, or this pocket is a Filofax pocket. Um, this die cut is from my shop. It's a makeup brushes die cut. Um, and then this washi card is from Simply Gilded. Um, when I went to PlannerCon, she gave us the like washi, card, um, washi cards, and then she had some washi tape that she let us like take washi from at, at our tables so um I keep this in the back just to have some washi in my planner but or some extra washi in my planner and then yeah that's the end I don't have anything back here um just because everything is so full and everything back here would get smashed if I put anything here so um yeah but this is my planner and um if you guys have any questions you can you know let me know oh I did have one more thing this pen is a pen from Japan and it says juice up 04 and it is a 0.4 um, tip by Pilot um, so the tip you can see is very fine and this is what I use to write in this planner and I don't usually like the skinny tips but I use it in this planner and it works so well because the space is so limited and small and if I use a thicker pen, it doesn't, like it takes up more space, but this pen is, is so thin and it's so smooth. And usually when I use the gel pens like this, it skips. So like as much as I love my Villa Beautiful pen that my best friend gave me, it just really doesn't write well. This one, even if it's a thin tip, it writes really well, it doesn't skip, it's smooth, um, it's gel, it's very black. I. So um, my sister got this for me from Japan and I want my uncle, my uncle recently went on a trip back to Japan before, you know, we couldn't travel. Um, and I asked him to get me more of this, more of this exact pen. So he got me more of this exact same pen in black. I think there's a pink one and a blue one, but I really like this pen for writing. So I, this is ex the pen that I use for every, all the writing in here is all from that same pen. Um, and it, I do a lot of writing because I write in another booklet with that same pen and it hasn't run out yet. But all this writing is from the same pen and I really like, so I really like this pen. And I don't usually like thin gel pens, but I usually like ballpoint. But yeah, so anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. But this is my planner and I just wanted to show you if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. You can follow me on Instagram, which is, my planner one is Little Planner Co. Um, and I do have a Kristen Hawaii Instagram, but my little planner co is the one that I usually post my planner things or my shop stuff on. So um, you guys can follow me there if you want to. But thanks for watching. If you guys have anything else, let me know. Bye.